Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 18th. So around February 18th, the timing is fluid. We're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for a daily reading? What's coming up? What is coming up? What do we got? An obstacle is being removed. The Eight of Swords reversed. Finally, finally an obstacle is being removed. This is freedom. Escape. Free. No longer tied. No longer stuck. Letting go. Letting go of the emptiness. Letting go of the confinement. Free. Freedom. We have freedom here. Nine of Wands. Now this is setting boundaries. And it is literally an escape. It is an escape. It really is. Here, we have somebody that is trapped. Okay? They're trapped. They're stuck. They're tied up. They're in a situation. This is breaking free from it. And it looks like there's an escape here. Take a look. That person is running away. So somebody could be running away. Escape. It is, and it's an escape. Hmm. Now, the Nine of Wands is a challenge and um, expecting trouble. It's like you're alone. You're all alone. Hmm. Well, the Nine of Swords reversed and the Ace of Wands reversed. So something had didn't materialize. Something didn't grow. The, the fire is going out or the spark is going out there's no desire there's no attraction there's guilt there's shame we could have somebody that is, is feeling ashamed feeling guilty extremely guilty um there's no desire there's no spark so that obstacle is being removed somebody's looks like somebody's leaving with this not it does somebody is escaping some sort of prison or something you know they've been in a state of mental conflict staying there because it was comfortable but now they're fleeing they're fleeing because there's just no desire there's no spark there's no attraction let me do it i mean the nine this this is extreme feeling extremely guilty extremely there could be some extreme regrets here um hmm Something didn't grow the way it was supposed to. Six of Swords reversed. Now, the Six of Swords reverse is something where somebody that was refusing to take a new approach, staying in a troubled situation, which they were. So we definitely have somebody here that was staying in a trouble of some situation, even though, you know, it was uh, turbulent, it was confining, it was... Uh, It was comfortable, but it wasn't, you know, it was uncomfortable. It was very stressful. So somebody was staying there. They were, they were trying with all, all their might. Okay. It's like they were trying to find all of the, uh, well, what's the word for it? Uh, the strength, all the strength that they could muster. Okay. Somebody was trying to find all the strength that they could could muster to stay in this situation. It's like, I'm going to make this work. I'm going to, I am come hell or high water. I'm going to make this work. So I think that's what we have is somebody that was staying in a situation that really, I mean, I don't see any love as of yet. It may have been some sort of mental thing because we have a lot of mental. Okay. We have, we have, we have mental, 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 and then we have passion, fire, attraction, maybe even sex. So somebody may have been staying in a situation because, uh, for the sex or, you know, something like that, or they had some sort of mental issues where they, they thought that they had to have somebody for 
some sort of, maybe, I don't know, some sort of reason. They needed help, perhaps. They had desires that needed to be met. Um, but there was no attraction there. So I think that, you know, somebody was... There's really, there's no love here. Well, I'll be surprised. I mean, I'll be, uh, hopefully we can find some love, but as of yet, there isn't. So it's like we have somebody that was staying in a situation that was causing them a lot of depression, a lot of thoughts as well. It was really messing with their head and maybe they, you know, we have somebody that was really conflicted by the looks of things. And I think that being alone, maybe that's why I maybe because it's like we have somebody here that doesn't want to be alone. So that could be the case. The Knight of Swords. Now this is rushing. Have no fear. Somebody is taking action. Swift action. Somebody is on a mission. We have somebody that thought, oh, the Queen of Pentacles reversed. The Queen of Pentacles reversed is no is not devoted is not caring, doesn't have anything of value to offer. This person um, is unstable, is insecure, doesn't have any money, doesn't take care of business, can't manage things effectively, wastes money, isn't very devoted to her family and her children, goes to work only when she wants to, um, doesn't really like to work or like takes the easy route. <sighs> hmm. This person, um, the Knight of Swords is somebody that is very factual, very observant, uh, knows what they want typically and just goes for something. This is a go-getter. It really is the Knight of Swords. Um, this guy is rushing. He's making a decision of some sort. Oh, turn, uh, the tower reversed. Now it's a permanent loss. And this is sudden. This is sudden. So they're... Okay. So these are both sudden energies. Okay. So there's some sort of loss that is going to happen. And I don't know if somebody's dealing with the Queen of Pentacles who has given up. Okay. Because when the Queen of Pentacles gives up, she comes in reverse. She will come out in reverse when she's no longer interested. She's not given a goddamn thing. Okay. She's in stubborn mode. Okay, and she's done. She's not giving anything. Now, this Queen of Pentacles may be suspicious. She may je be jealous. She may be selfish. Okay. Um, she may be troubled in some way. Somebody's troubled here. Now, we could be dealing with a Scorpio. We could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We could be dealing with a Libra. Gemini, Aquarius, but the, the Page of Swords is something that happens very fast, very suddenly, and we have a shock here. So there's some sort of shocking change that is coming. When you get the, when you get the, well, I was going to say the Wheel of Fortune, when you get the tower reversed, this is extreme. This could be a fight. It could be a big fight. This, this is a loss. It's a permanent loss. It's a painful change that you never saw coming with the Knight of Swords and the tower reversed. So there is a, there's a change that is coming that you never saw coming. Okay. It's going to be shocking. It's going to be a surprise. This is an obstacle that is being removed. Somebody has been stuck. They have been stuck. They've and, they, and their mind has been keeping them there. They, they've been in some sort of mental conflict. They've been trapped. But now the tower, the universe, the tower is a universe card is saying, okay, we've seen this. This isn't healthy. It's definitely not healthy. And there is still no love here. This is not love. Okay. There's no love here. This is, this is a mental thing that was probably, uh, this relationship was probably, it probably happened to fill a void. Somebody didn't want to be alone, so they built a false foundation with somebody just because they didn't want to be alone, right? And um, it's like they got involved with somebody when they didn't have proper closure. They didn't have proper closure from the last one, so it was just to fill a void. So they got themselves involved with something that uh, they, were, they weren't even attracted to it. There was no real mutual attraction but they did it anyway because of their their loneliness so anyhow um refusing to move on refusing to take a new approach staying in a situation that is very stressful very very stressful here universe sees all okay the tower is the universe car card 
and then something is going to happen very fast, very suddenly with the Knight of Swords in the tower right here. It feels like the, the Queen of Pentacles reversed is, uh, <sighs> lazy. She gives up. Somebody is giving up. And it looks as though there's, it's, somebody is running away. It's like they're running away. I just want to, I really need to point that out because I feel like running away is prominent here. Somebody is running away. They've stayed long enough and it's been, it's been very stressful. Very stressful. Judgment reversed. Woo. So somebody hasn't been seeing the truth. They've been ignoring the truth and now their health has been affected. You notice this one is connected to this one. So, and this is poor health as well, the tower. So somebody's health is being affected by staying in this situation that is uh, so troublesome, so turbulent. Okay, somebody's health is being affected. It, their health is declining. And it's because they're not listening. They're not listening. They're not answering the higher call. And there's a lot of shame here. There's death. This is shame and this is shame. So we're having somebody that is in guilt. Both. And they're still, and they are connected. So we have somebody here that um, is feeling guilty and ashamed. Um, huh. The Hermit reversed in the Five of Wands. Yeah, there's going to be a fight. There is going to be a fight. Somebody was lonely. <laughs> Extreme loneliness here. We have somebody that got into some sort of situation because they were lonely. They, and you know, that's usually why people do, right? Because they were lonely and because they were sad. But now it's like... It feels like there's going to be some sort of uh, breakdown. There's going to, it's like a breakdown. So somebody's going to have a breakdown. Maybe it's a nervous breakdown. Okay. I'm not sure what it is, but if maybe somebody has some sort of nervous breakdown, it happens suddenly. They just blow. They blow. Um, I also feel as though, I mean, the hermit reversed can be fear of rejection and it could be loneliness. It could be exile, be wanting to come out of exile. Somebody could be hiding. There could be a lot of competition. Somebody is fearful. They're fearful. They want a reconciliation because the judgment is a reconciliation, but it's reversed. I think we have somebody here that wants a reconciliation, but they're ashamed of what they did and they fear rejection. Um... But this is movement. The Knight of Swords is on a mission and, and makes a move. Really moves. Moves fast. Has no fear. So something. I mean, this Knight of Swords, somebody is going to be moving very, very fast. They're like they're going to they're gonna make a decision and they're just going to do it. They're going to do something and it's going to be quite a surprise. You definitely don't see it coming. So somebody's going to make a move that you don't see coming and it's going to cause a huge uproar or a breakdown or something like that. Um, this five of wands is conflict. It's competition. It's chaos. There's a dispute. There's pettiness. There's drama. We have somebody here that is all over the place. Here's the Wheel of Fortune. Change. We have a change coming. Destiny. We have a destined change that's coming. We, it feels like we have somebody here that has been fighting against themselves. They've been fighting their own thoughts. They've been fighting their true identity. They've been fighting their desires. They've been fighting, you know, what they truly want. And it's not serving them. It's killing them. It's killing them to fight what they want. It's like they're not honoring their heart in any way. Because there's no heart in this reading. None. 
And I got a lot of cards here. So we have somebody you see that is not following their heart. And they're feeling alone. And they're feeling sad. And they're feeling depressed. And they're feeling guilty. And it's killing them. And they're not following their heart because they're not awake. They're not... We, we have the hermit reversed and the judgment reversed. This is an, a person that is not awakened. This person is not very spiritual. This person is... Um, what do you call that person? Uh, well, an awakened human being. What do you call that? I mean, you guys, I'm sure you'll tell me underneath what that person is. The person that is not awake. Um, I don't know what you call that person. Um, I'm sure you'll tell me, but we, that is what this person is. This person isn't very conscious right? They're not consciously aware. They're not in touch with the divine at all. So this person can't see. They can, they really cannot see, you know, the conflict that they're causing themselves. They, they can't see that they're causing their own pain by staying in this situation that doesn't serve them. The universe sees it and they're going to, the universe is going to continue to poke them until they make a change, until they escape this prison that they're living in. So I do see an escape of some sort. Somebody has been staying in a troublesome situation, but the universe has been watching. I think there's going to be, you know, a sudden, uh, disruption, fight, argument, whatever that causes somebody to leave and they leave in a hurry. And it and it finally gives the other person the freedom or both people the freedom that they have been wanting and maybe they've been wanting it secretly because it doesn't look like these people are even attracted to each other. So, I don't know. I just happened to look at that bowl right there. I don't know if you're dealing with a, a Taurus. I don't know. I just happened to look down at that bowl really strongly. It's really prominent here. But you have Scorpio. You have Virgo. You have it. There's everybody here. It doesn't matter. Um, but this is a change in direction. This is something good that it's on its way. This is the wheel of life that is in constant mo motion. I mean, positive change is coming. Somebody could end up in the right place at the right time and, you know, something very fortunate happens as well because that is, this is a fortunate thing, okay? Um, judgment reversed is, is unable, lack of awareness, we definitely have somebody here that is not aware. They are not aware of what truly matters. Seriously. And they built a false foundation that is about to crumble. This is a false foundation that is about to crumble and it's not going to be rebuilt. There is also extreme health problems here. There is. I see it. So we have somebody here that, um, you know, it feels like there could be, you know, they, somebody needs help, put it that way. One more card. Things are about to change in a positive manner. Whew, but there's going to be a loss. The Ace of Pentacles reversed is a loss. Somebody is definitely leaving. Sorry, that was a slam. I mean, there could be a slam. Absolutely. Okay, somebody is leaving. They're getting in their car and they're running. They're out. Goodbye. See ya. There is going to be a big loss. Somebody is, and it's a permanent one. Okay, the Tower reversed a permanent loss and this one is too. So somebody is going to be dealing with a permanent loss. Somebody is leaving. And it's like, it's almost like they're, they're deciding. It's like they, they, they just decide I, I gotta go. I gotta go. This isn't, this isn't, there's no flame here. There's no desire. There's no attraction. There's no life left. I'm out. 
So be prepared for a departure. Okay, there is going to be, and I think it's a sudden, sudden departure. Good luck.